on the All Access Post Game Show. He is the head coach of the Mustangs. Oh, yeah. He is Coach Paul Cantavine, and he joins us. Coach, uh, the fourth quarter, you had to grind it out. Um, sort of a different. We're not. We're not always used to, to Stevenson playing <laughs> grind it out lacrosse, but that was the case late tonight. You got well, the job done. Were, you know, we got a little tougher team. You know, I think we were grinding out things and playing tough. And uh, I thought we really put our will at times. We came out right away, scored some goals, and uh, got up by four. And I thought we just made some. Not great choices there, and kind of let them back into the game. And we got to get better on extra man. But I, I like the shots we got tonight. I thought their goalie played really well, and uh, we had some guys get some great. And you know, when you, you got Kyle down for you making big plays when it matters, I think that helps. And uh, our attack wasn't great tonight, but I think they'll be better tomorrow. Uh, but uh, but I like the way we play. I think we just played tough, and uh, I think we're playing well offensively. Defensively, we got to clean up some things still. We're still working on that to get that solved. But those guys are playing hard, and Ross is leading them and making saves when it matters. So um, I like how we played. I think we I, th- I thought we played a really tough brand of lacrosse tonight. Coach, you guys played a much cleaner game between the lines. You outground yep. ball, doubled them, Lynchburg up in ground balls, played much better in the clearing game. What do you attribute that to? A week of practice? Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, I think it? we're getting much more disciplined. And, you know, as you get into the season, you play more games. Now we're starting to pile in some games up to our fourth game already now. Uh, some teams have played six, seven, eight games already. You know, we're just getting, we're kind of behind them. It's kind of weird for us to be behind them. But I think we're getting used to the game flow. And I think we're getting better with pressure in the ground ball, scooping through them. I thought, you know, Lito Flanagan a little sick today. He was great in the wings of faceoffs. You know, he gutted it out and we played really tough. Um, you know, I thought Ethan Christensen was a, was a man today. I thought he really did a great job scoring some tough goals for us. You know, Kyle did a great job scoring timely goals. But I like the way we're grinding games out and playing between the lines is real important because you're not turning it over and doing that. And I thought we actually got to Lynchburg a little bit, and I thought they did turn it over a little bit in terms of the end of the game. They had some opportunities, and I just like the way we played there. And I think that we're going to continue to get better clearing and continue to get better at ground balls. How about Sean Olhaver going hard to <laughs> yeah. his right for two yeah. goals there in the third yeah. quarter when you needed him? Yeah, well, Sean's a big, strong guy. You know, and um, you know we've been telling him all year, you know, just do that so. He He's been a little bit out of sync. He hasn't been good as, as good as in the fall, but he think he's coming in and starting to do some really good things, and it was good to get for him to get two good goes. And you know, he's a big, strong, you know, six foot two, two hundred and twenty-five. <laughs> I say he's a little bit more than that, <laughs> but you know, he goes hard across the top, and he's really hard, and his shots tough to see. So if you don't get a clean look at his stick, it's going to go in, and uh, he got a few to fall. And you know, we need our second line to play better, and we need Morgan Pritchard to play better. We got Bryce Spool, I thought played much better today. Got Harrison Facher in the game a little bit. Uh, Morgan Pritchard has been pretty steady. He hasn't scored a lot, but I think the way he's playing is real steady for us. And uh, So those five middies are starting to give us a second line so we don't got to run that first line as much. Coach, you have a ton of new faces at the close defense. Dylan Harris stood out to us tonight from a ground yep. ball perspective, getting the ball up the field uh, and it, matching up one-on-one. What does he bring to the team that you didn't have or, or didn't have early in the season? Yeah, well, we're glad we took him. He was a kid that transferred from Towson and I was like, well, Tim, he's a place club. I don't, I don't know how good he's going to be. You know? so He's like, you got to take him. You got to take him. I was like, alright, good. He played in our club team so we knew about him and uh, but uh, he, he's just really a fast kid and good stick off the ground. And that's what I think him, Dom, um, Lido, when they're in there, Austin, Howard, they're really good off the ground. They got good sticks and they're tough, you know. So when you got guys with long poles with sticks like that, I think it really helps. And I thought we did a good job of those guys knocking down passes today, too. We got a few that we knocked down. And uh, so that was good, you know. So I, I mean, I like how they're playing. I think we just got to play a little more disciplined. I like, you know, man down, you know, we do a great job chasing them out. Dylan goes all the way to the midfield line instead of just kind of getting in and killing the penalty. He goes over the head and we give up one there. And that's a little bit of the Undiscipline that we got to work on. But you did kill the two man. Down. We did. It was awesome. You know, I thought we did a great job. You know, two men down, especially with a guy like Lombardo on the on the lefty shooter. I thought we did a good job, really shading to him and knowing where the shooters were, and uh, we made it tough on him. So you know, our man down's pretty good. You know, they do a good job, and uh, we did, uh, and so get out of that situation that was a big part of the game because they could have got one. It could have been a little bit different. So I thought how we played that was a big part of the game. Before we get to the young fella, a quick turnaround. Easy on the young fella. Yeah. Though, you know what I mean? He's first he's first time used, visit. He's yeah. not used to the you know the the national championship guy and the all American here. You know. <laughs> Nick Rossi, so got to be kind to him. <laughs> Never gonna lose. Quick, quick, Never gonna quick like turnaround to tomorrow night and uh, another really good team that you guys got to face. And that's I know that's the point of doing an event like this, but how tough is it going to be to turn around and be ready for York tomorrow night? Well, I think it's all even for both teams. You know, York had a, you know, they had the grind out a win too. They got up early and had the grind it out as uh, Nats came back on them. But this is what the great part about this event. And I also think, you know, we're prepared because of the way we practice. I think early in the season, we go so hard in practice. Uh, no days off. We don't let, we don't let, as Nick will tell you, we don't let, we don't one day, me eagle than the other because we want to get in the best shape possible for this. And I think our conditioning is really, really good now. Uh, but we got to get our guys off really quick home, out of off their feet. You know, get some fluids in them. You know, we're going to meet tomorrow for breakfast. We'll do the scouting report at 11 on them, and uh, you know, and um, you do some film and all that good stuff. And we'll get ready, you know, and the go. But you're, we're, us and York are in the same spot. They got about three hours rest on us. But you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? They'll come down here. They're going to be anxious to prove something. And they're a great team. They got a very good offense. Their freshman goalie's playing great. They got a couple good poles. Faceoff guy wasn't as good today, but. 
he's been, had a great season, you know. So, you know, it's going to be fun. That's what's great about this event, I think, is that you play great teams week in and week out. You know, RIT and Amherst was an absolute slugfest today. That was a great go. And, you know, I thought Denison looked really well today. And, uh, you know, York looked well. And this game out here was two teams really fighting at it. You know, I think Lynchburg's had a lot of big, strong athletes, and they're going to be somebody to be reckoned with for sure. Coach, congratulations on a great win. Thanks for the time. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Absolutely.